Hey Fingsters and welcome to today's one-liner tutorial um, where I like this is the first tutorial of the of a number of a series of uh, one-liner tutorials which I want to um, give to which I want to provide to you to uh, improve your Python skills and to become more proficient in understanding the single line of Python code because if you understand every single line of Python code you will understand every project out there basically so um, at least you have the potential to understand it. Because if you don't even understand a single line of code, how can you ever understand multiple lines of code? So uh, I, I know that logically the reverse is not true. If you understand a single line of Python code, you may not even be able to understand a more complicated code project. But uh, I mean, I think it should be already enough motivation to see that if you don't understand a single line of Python code, you have no, no way, uh, you have no opportunity to understand existing Python projects, which will use a lot of uh, Python one-liner, um, Python one-liners basically to um, to make the code more concise. Because advanced coders will always um, use the most concise, most beautiful, most direct uh, solution to a given problem. Okay, so in this one-liner we are using list comprehension to find top earners. So we have some, like a, like a small toy data set. So let's let's first give you, I want to give you the toy data set. Here, okay. So we have uh, some employees um, like uh, Alice, Bob, Carol. So I just make this a bit more pretty. Uh, Frank and Eve, and all of them earn um, like uh, some dollar amount of money. So let's say you are uh, in a human resource department of a large company, and you need to find all staff members who earn at least one hundred thousand dollars per year. Maybe you want to promote promote some, or maybe you want to cut salary. I don't know. So it uh, so uh, it doesn't really matter. So for this example, now we just want to find all top earners. So all the people who earn at least one hundred thousand dollars per month. And we have, this is the data we have given. How can we do this? I mean, um, you could you could have uh, um, basically you could have a more complicated solution to this. For example, you could write like you stay in the list top earners. Uh, sorry for the music. It's my uh, brother. He loves to play piano. Um, Okay, so we have some top earners for uh, key value in employees items. Okay, so we use the items function. We go over all key value pairs in the dictionary basically, okay? And the items uh, method of, of dictionary employees just gives us the key value pairs. And then we check if the value is larger than, larger or equal because we want to have all employees who earn at least $100,000, then we simply earn them to the top earners variable, okay? So we use the append function and what do we append? Yeah, say we, we append the uh, key value pair we have just extracted, okay? And now we do this for all key value pairs in our dictionary and then we simply print the top earners. So this would be a way of accomplishing this. Okay, here you see in the result uh, we have Alice and Carol who are the top earners here. Yeah, so I just put it here, put it here so that you can see it. And um, yeah, so we have two persons. Carol is the top earner, and Alice also earns one more than one hundred thousand dollars. So this code is correct, but there is an easier and much more concise way of writing this. And in Python like expert coders will usually not use like four lines of code. Yeah, these four lines of code to extract the um, top earners. They will do it in a single line of code. Um, and yeah, to, uh, to uh, understand the Python one liner you, we will develop in a moment, you first need to understand the feature of list comprehension. So what is list comprehension? Let's open the shell and make it more interactive. Your list comprehension is a way of creating lists, okay? So say we want, you want to create a list of square numbers or so. Then you just, so um, you just like use the normal list um, creation operator, yeah, which is the um, square bracket opening and closing. And then within the square bracket, you give um, some, you give the Python um, engine some information about the values you want to store in this list. And you can do this programmatically. Of course, you can do something like this. You can do some so like give all the numbers manually, but if you have a lot of numbers, this may not be the most concise way of writing it. Instead, you can use a special Python feature called list comprehension, which consists of an expression and a context. 
okay? And I mean, you should not actually write expression in context here. This is just a placeholder for now, but just that you see how the, how the um, list comprehension, how list comprehension is structured. And it consists of these two parts, the expression and the context. And the context gives us um, a number of values, which we want to consider for our um, uh, list creation process. And uh, yeah, what values could, I mean, for example, we could go over all um, X in the range, say 10. Okay, so this like range 10, this re re returns an iterator um, object uh, of the value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And yeah, we simply use for X in range 10, which means that X takes all values uh, going, starting from zero, incrementing by one until we reach value nine. So the um, stop argument is not included in the range function. Okay, so this is our context. These are all the values which we want to include in the list basically. Um, but then, I mean, then we can, could just include the value here. We could use a simple expression X and then just include the values here. And I'm not even going to store this in a list, but just putting this to the share. And now you see, okay, it's a list of um, values from zero to nine. Um, but now there is, there could be even, um, you could even have more complicated expressions. Yeah. Like you could, could write X plus X, for example, to store um, like two X, uh, the, um, yeah, to, to like double the, the values you want to store in the list. So you have the, you have the context, which are all values from zero to nine included, and you just double them. So basically this is ex this is the expression for, so you can use the expression to uh, do something with the, um, with the values in the context. And um, yeah, so if you want to have the list of all square numbers, then you could simply square them. Okay, and if you execute them, you see it's a list of square numbers. So it works beautifully. It's a single line of, co uh, of code, very concise, uh, very readable, and also very efficient because list comprehension is really efficient in Python. So they did a nice job implementing this feature. So if possible, you should basically use this feature and um, instead of using a for loop or so. So uh, in many cases, list comprehension is a Pythonic way of creating Python lists. And here in this, in this example, we want to create a list, a list of top earners. Okay, so, and we can do this in a single line of Python code. So let's <coughs> just dive into the one line. I'll just give it to you and then you can, um, uh, then you can, uh, then I will explain it to you. Okay, so we create a variable top earners and also opening and closing square bracket, which indicates that we want to create a list. Okay, now the question is, what do we want to put in this list? So basically our original list, if you look at the output again, <coughs> created a list of key value tuples. Okay, so the first value is the key, second is the tuple. Key is the name of the employee, Se uh, value is the um, salary of the employee. Okay, so here, so therefore we want to, our expression is clear. We want to have our key value pairs. And now, of course, we, in the context, we have to define these variables. We have to define what different values will those variables take. And um, yeah, now we define the um, context. So we go over all key value pairs in employees items. You have already seen the items function. Items functions give us, gives us all key value pairs. So it gives us an iterator basically over all key value pairs. So we iterate over all key value pairs and then we just put them in, in the list. But now if we would do this, then we would get simply the, so we could, I can print it for you just to show you where we are now. Top earners, you see it, but now we have included just all values in the list, okay? So this is not what we want. We want to, to include only the earners who earned more than $100,000 per year or so. Um, so therefore, how can we do this? Yeah, we have, to, we have to restrict the context a bit because here you see this whole thing is the context. It gives us all the values over which we want to iterate and which we want to include in the list with after some modification which is given in the expression and um and yeah what are these values basically now they are all values in the dictionary but we want to restrict them to the values that are actually that actually have a ve um like the to the to the key value pairs where the value is actually a number larger or equal 100000 okay how can we do this we simply add another condition here if we is larger or equal 100,000. 
Okay, so this is just how you do it. Basically, we now here this this is a list of all key value pairs in our employees dictionary. Um, so we have a list, an, an iterable basically over all key value pairs. And now we restrict this again a bit by defining uh, some if conditions. And you can nest this as as much as you would like. Okay, so you can go over all key value pairs if a certain condition meets and so on. You can you can have so multiple nested conditions if you want, but Often it's not needed, often then a single condition is enough. And here, this is our condition, yeah? If the value is larger than 100,000, we will include them. Otherwise, we will just throw them away, basically for the list uh, creation purpose. Okay, now we have developed a single line of code. So we have written um, uh, in a single line of code what took us four lines of code here. And here you have to go over all these lines, you have to understand everything. And here, you I mean, if you are used to a list comprehension feature, this one is much more readable for you. So it's not always the case that one-liners are more complicated. Uh, in many cases, they will actually simplify your code. Because, um, I mean, if you have less code to read, it's usually you also can do it in a, in a faster way. And I would say this is, this is even a bit more natural to, to read. Yeah? Because, um, yeah, because you actually you don't have to, your eyes don't have to move that much to understand this. You can simply grasp it in a in a moment basically if you if you are used to the to the list comprehension feature just because you um, used fewer characters to express this and um yeah the line is a bit longer obviously but uh i mean uh, we have much less uh total characters and um there's no there's no basically there's nothing that doesn't matter so I, I, everything is is written in the most concise way okay so there's no uh, redundancy basically in the code here uh, for our one-liner. So I, li I like this a lot. And uh, you will see that many advanced coders will just use list comprehension if they have to create a list instead of um, cr like doing this traditionally, like uh, ha develop uh, writing a for loop, writing an if statement and doing some, doing, adding some method, so the append method or so. And I would say this m might even be faster because the append method is not so fast. There are faster ways of doing it. For example, extend method, which extends a large number of elements in a single bunch is usually faster than uh, the, than multiple times calling the append method. So, um, so in my opinion, this would even be faster for in many instances um, to use list comprehension. And, um, Good. Okay, so let's check the result. Check the output. The output is exactly the same. We have found all top earners who earn at least one hundred thousand dollars in a single line of code, as promised. <laughs> okay, so in the next uh, one-liner, we will still improve our understanding of list comprehension and to find words with high information value. But this will be part of the of tomorrow's video. And um, yeah, so stay tuned uh, if you want to. Um, watch the upcoming videos. I will have a lot of them actually in the upcoming two months or so. Okay, thanks for listening and see you in the next video. Bye.